Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a tea leaf reading and I've never done a tea leaf reading before so I hope you guys enjoy it. We have group number one, group number two and group number three. So please let me know if you like this sort of reading and I will do more of them. So in today's reading I'll also have cards for each of the groups as well and we're also going to be doing what is coming towards you as well. What unexpected blessing can you expect? What new things can you expect? So Let's get started. Here we have group number one with the green cup, group number two with the orange cup, and group number three with the purple cup. So let's get started. If you want any more time, please pause the video and all the timestamps will be down below and in the comments section as usual. So let's get started. Hello, group number one. So for those of you who chose group number one, the green cup, this is going to be your message, your unexpected blessing that's coming towards you. So let's get started with this tea leaf reading so this is my first ever tea leaf reading so just bear with me okay so i wanted to try something different so for you guys this is your tea leaves these is this is what came out the first thing i'm really looking at is the bit in the middle that is really sticking out to me so that little tiny spot like right in the middle there so what i'm feeling for you guys is there is definitely a new start okay so the circle and kind of like the circling slightly around it's kind of like a new start I feel that's kind of what I'm feeling and obviously this is a new beginning so that's really good that's extra clarification so let's have a look and see what else there's lots of scattered things so I feel like for you guys your energy is going to feel a little bit scattered I feel like in the next few weeks of watching this video I feel like you're going to feel a little bit scattered um, and lots of different ideas are going to come to you okay I feel like with all of this stuff that's going on around here, I feel like these are all kind of ideas starting to come out. And I feel like for you guys, there is a lot of responsibility around this busyness. So make sure to not keep busy just because you feel like you you have to. Do it because you need to. Do it because you want to. Do it because you want, you want to keep busy. You want to be busy. Not because out of anyone else's opinions or anyone's reasoning just do it because you want to be busy okay that's kind of one of the big messages I'm getting for you guys there's definitely a lot of people coming as well for you guys there's a lot of people coming for you and obviously I'm going to look at the cards as well we're going to see how this resonates um there's lots of different people that possibly haven't entered your life yet because I feel like this is kind of like old people kind of coming out of the cup so they're kind of escaping and removing from your life. So if you guys have gone through a really big breakup or any sort of breakup around your love life or career or anything that's kind of like a massive shift around your community, I feel like the, the, there is new people coming in. So if you guys who haven't had any new people come in, I do see that for you, okay? There is a significant lover around. There is someone significant and they're going to make you very, very happy, okay? Um, I'm seeing somebody who is very strong. They are, they're a little bit far away from you though. They might be long distance, um, not for all of you, but for some of you guys, you may have to travel to this person. This could be somebody you're already talking to. For those of you who are single, who are watching this, um, you may have felt like you're never going to meet somebody and you feel like they're really, really far away. But there's definitely energy of just shifting your perspective around love and how you think about love. And, and that energy around that and that's going to actually bring this person closer towards you because this tiny little spot that is what I was focusing on that little heart it almost like kind of reminds me of a heart it just reminds me of love that's kind of what I'm feeling so okay so the world is definitely coming in I feel like you guys are really wanting to travel and there's something around a country I feel like you guys are wanting to travel to a different country to meet family or the world is just coming in. I feel like you, a lot of you guys are Sagittarius who are watching this. You're very worldly. You like worldly um, views and things like that. So I feel like what's coming towards you is, is that. And also there's, for some reason, I'm picking up on some sort of, okay, I don't want to panic anyone, but I am picking up on like a tornado, but I don't think it's going to be actually weather. It reminds me of something to do with a, sim a symbol. So it might be like an emotional tornado. It might be um, something like a synchronistic. So you might see it on like a video or you might see it as like an emoji or um, it's just, and they're saying things are just picking up. That's what I'm feeling. And also from the Wizard of Oz, that's also what I'm picking up on as well. Okay, is there anything else? 
there's definitely old emotions shifting up. So if you're feeling really stressed out, just know that this is going to change for you. Things are going to things are going to shift. Some of you guys are getting a dog as well, like a puppy, like a really fluffy one. There's something here. What is that? Okay. Something here. I'm trying to like pick up on it. There's somebody. Oh, there's somebody that's holding on to you. For some of you guys, not all of you. Somebody's holding on to you and they don't want to let go. And it could be you not wanting to let go of somebody. So vice versa, I'll take it as it resonates. Could be a group of three people that you're dealing with as well. That you'll you'll learn to let go of them, but you're struggling. Okay. And I'm hearing being bled dry. So I feel like for some of you guys, it's really important to just honor your own energy, especially if you're dealing with anyone toxic. Just really acknowledging your own energy and especially I'm going to zoom you out guys especially for those of you who have been dealing with like toxic relationships or anything like that and there's somebody who really is entertaining this energy so just be aware that that will change for you okay so let's have a look at your cards so we have Libra we have Sagittarius I did say Sagittarius so I love that we have Neptune and we also have Ambition interesting okay so this is making me feel like you guys are definitely shifting in your career. There's something shifting around ambition and how you feel about your career, okay? There's somebody that's making a move on you emotionally to do with your work, okay? And it could be a Sagittarius or Libra, or they could be like somebody who is an air sign or a fire sign. It doesn't actually have to be those two signs. You could also be either of these signs. This is a general reading, so just take it as it resonates, it's kind of whenever I get this card, I'm hearing it's your move. So this is, this is showing me that somebody is making a move towards you or the universe is pushing you to make a move towards somebody or something that's pushing you towards this new start that you're going to manifest. And Neptune is also rules Pisces. So this is all about water and emotions and shifting of old paradigms. I'm hearing, oops, I feel like something's in my bra. That's so random. <laughs> Maybe you guys keep stuff in your bra, like crystals or money or something. <laughs> Um, I am hearing keep your money safe as well for some of you guys. I'm hearing for some of you as well you're going to have a lodger or um, somebody moving your house, probably a partner or something. That's what I'm picking up on. You might be changing your hair, you might be getting a new weave or getting a haircut, something like that. Something to do with your hair, it feels quite important. Okay, so that's your message. That's what's coming towards you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this style of reading. I do want to do another one of these. I have some cups just lined up so... Uh, I do want to do another one of these but if you like this reading please let me know I really enjoy doing this it's so fun it really helps me to kind of channel more of my intuition and obviously I am doing that anyway but it, it's a very good exercise I feel so thank you so much for watching guys I love you and I'll speak to you soon if you want a private reading please let me know down below uh, sorry not let me know down below look down below and then let me know through Instagram or email thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon bye Hello group number two, thank you so much for being here. So for you guys who chose the orange cup, let's get started and see what's coming towards you. Let's zoom you in. All right, so orange cup. So obviously orange is to do with the sacral chakra and possibly the solar plexus as well. So that's gonna be an extra message for you. So let's have a look at this cup. There's quite a big clump going on around the bottom part. So that's gonna be quite a big synchronicity for you. There's big synchronicities that happen. They're saying tap the cup to change it. Okay, so I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Okay, cool. Right, here we go. Love is coming in for you guys. Um, look out for like heart-shaped balloons, I'm hearing. There's, there, I can see like a couple dancing, but they're like children. So I feel like you guys are gonna manifest a relationship that's going to be very childlike and you're gonna really enjoy their presence. That's coming towards you really soon, actually. Some of you guys who are in England, Britain, London, I'm hearing that's extra synchronicity for you. You might be visiting London, obviously, when quarantine and stuff is over. I'm getting um, a grandparent here as well. There's somebody who wants to give you a message. So if you guys want to channel any messages from like past loved ones, they're saying you can do that. Okay. There's a circle here which isn't fully closed which says which means do not disturb in in um, the tea leaf reading so this is showing me you guys might be in hermit mode right now just kind of dealing with some stuff emotionally 
There's a lot of stuff coming up though, but it's kind of like in tidbits I'm hearing. So you might be getting frustrated, like, oh, I figured this out, everything's sorted. And then it suddenly isn't sorted anymore. Um, okay, I'm hearing don't hold on, don't hold on to something. And that might be that heart-shaped balloon that I'm picking up on. But for some of you guys, that's a really positive message. But for others of you, it feels like you might be holding on too tightly to something or somebody. I'm seeing bushes outside of your garden, like outside of your window. So some of you guys, you might be doing some gardening in the next week or so, trimming some bushes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, take that as it resonates. <laughs> take that as you want to as well. Some of you guys are quite um, sensual beings. You're very, a lot of you guys are Scorpios who've chosen this one. A lot of you guys are water signs actually have chosen this one. So you're going to have completion over something, but also you may have already had the completion and you're starting something new. So wherever you are on that cycle, there is completion coming. So just be aware that there is a new cycle that's coming towards you. There's definitely a lot of clumping around this side. So tell me what that resonates. How many, so tell me what the message is, not how it resonates. Tell me what the message is. So this is a buildup of emotion. They're saying let it flow, let it flow, because that's going to bring in more of what you want. That's going to bring in more of the things that you want to manifest. And it kind of shows me, I mean, this in um, the tea leaf community represents orbit, the moon and things like that. So you guys could be like a, a water sign moon. Sorry if I'm not showing the cup by the way, it's because I'm trying to look at it as well. Um, it also represents circle segments and crescent and sleep. So you guys might be struggling with your sleep, but I do see sleep actually improving. So if you guys are struggling with your sleep, I do see that improving, okay? Uh, let's see what else we have. Definitely about the moon. So you guys have got a really, the next new moon or next like strong moon that's happening when you watch this video, it's gonna be a really big synchronicity for you. It's gonna be a really big shift for you. And it's gonna shift a lot of this and these new starts that are coming in. There's somebody who's missing you. Somebody really misses you. Makes me sad, but it's fine. They're saying, it's, they're saying it's okay to be sad. It's okay to miss some someone. Um, they're saying, okay, moving on. Uh, you guys might be looking, look for cherries. They're going to be a synchronicity. Look for letter F as well. And there's something else I was going to say. Headphones. You guys might be buying new headphones or earphones this week. Or then wherever, you, whenever you're watching this, like in the next week or month or so. I think that's it. There's something else as well. I'm seeing you guys having a party, like a get together. With, with lots of children, it might be one of your kids' birthdays, it might be a cousin's, niece's, nephew's birthday, something like that. But there's lots of kids and you might meet somebody there in terms of like a new start. It's not too much career in this one, but we'll see what they have in the uh, in the cards as well. Alrighty, so let's have a look at your, let's get rid of some of this tea. <laughs> okay, we have creativity, Capricorn, and we have Pisces. Let's get you one more card because the first group had four, let's get you four. So we've got Pisces there, we have Capricorn, very similar energies, very similar energies these two. Let's get you one more. Yeah, there's definitely some love coming in, guys. Your love life is really changing. You're probably meeting meeting somebody in love uh, to do with a Pisces, I feel in. I really like that, that's cute. Sorry if I just uh, budged the microphone. I also have the lunar eclipse. You guys have definitely got a lot of moon energy going on, which is amazing, I love that. So that's really good. Okay, let's see. So we have a lot of creativity going on around your work. Okay, so this is the work life that's coming in. Lots of creativity around your work. And there is here with the Pisces and the Venus, it's definitely the way you're approaching your love life is changing. You might also be a Pisces Venus. There's like new expansions coming in. So for you guys, it's, just be aware that there's something there's somebody new who wants to get your attention. That's what I just heard. And also look out for significant birds like hawks, pigeons. Uh, is there something else? Like a parrot or something. There's some sort of significant bird. I'm hearing the bird is going to catch the fish. So for you guys, you might have felt like you're really not manifesting anything. But there is that energy is going to shift for you and you are going to manifest that. Is there anything else wants to come through? There's definitely something around your work life. You're getting much more organised. And you may be finding an a new career venture that's gonna really serve you. And I never saw this, is it the scythe? Is that the right word? That kind of like sharp thing that the death man has. <laughs> wow, you think me being a Scorpio, I know what I'm talking about. But basically the scythe here is kind of like the death, you're kind of like cutting things. And you're kind of like 
opening up your creativity as well. There's definitely some new new things to gain within your work life and your career and your ideas and your projects as well. So that is your reading guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more of this sort of reading, then please let me know. I really enjoyed doing this. And if you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you guys like it so much, I might even do some little tea leaf readings um, in my private readings as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number three. Those of you who chose the purple cup, let's get started with your reading. So let's zoom you in. Hello, so, <laughs> so let's get started with your tea leaf reading. You guys, I feel like have a completely different message than uh, one and two. You guys have like a really big clump going on and then you've got like a little thing going on here. So let me get you closer to this cup. Right, so I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna see if there's anything else, any extra bits that need to like fly off. Nope, real good. Okay, so solid. <laughs> you guys have got something solid coming towards you, something that's gonna really um, stick with you and somebody who's going to really stick with you as well. So through thick and thin, I'm feeling, through thick and thin. So somebody who's really going to um, acknowledge your presence and acknowledge who you are. Okay, so the big clump I'm feeling is it kind of represents a cup spilling over. So there's gonna be some emotions that are gonna be spilling over but also good it kind of feels like there's emotional release around something and around kind of you stopping yourself from feeling that's what I'm picking up on okay so the big clump is kind of making me think of something that is stuck okay it also reminds me of like a firework I feel so I feel like for you guys you guys are getting a build up to something so it's kind of like I'm seeing the firework going up in the sky but it's not like kind of shooting its shot yet. So I'm gonna zoom in like a little bit more. There we go. Um, it's not shooting its shot yet. It's kind of like, it's not going, pew, you know, it's still doing that, ee, like it's going up to the sky, but it's not exploding. So for you guys, you are definitely building up to this new start. It's just not there yet, okay? So the physical aspect of things happening, yes, I do see that happening. I feel like for you guys, you may have the longest wait for some reason. It feels like you guys are kind of stuck emotionally or health wise or something like that and that's pro probably why it's taking a while it could be corona on hold you know it could be um that you're struggling with university it could be you're struggling with, with school and you're having to just wait to start a new career something like that could be that you're waiting for money to come in a debt so it's kind of like waiting you're waiting for something so i do see somebody has their eye on you i feel like somebody definitely has their eye on you and they really want to um talk to you that's for some of you guys, not all of you. Then say so that's quite a specific message. So just take that as it resonates, okay? So let's see what else we have. We have like a really concrete start. I definitely feel like there's something here where, yeah, you guys are the slowest, I feel, okay? So in terms of not you exactly, I feel like your journey is taking longer than what you thought it would. And this clump here is showing me that things are having to build up before they start to release, okay? I do see motion happening. This is that motion here. I do see the motion happening. Um, that is representing motion. It also represented changes and it also represents an echo as well. So there's definitely something like a ripple effect. So all the things that you're doing, it's all gonna happen, okay? It just may take a little bit longer. Some of you guys are gonna get pregnant. <laughs> I just saw a baby, and I'm also seeing a bird, like a, a vulture. So I feel like for you guys, it's really releasing um, any kind of need to control. That's what I'm feeling, any sort of need to control. And there's definitely support here. I feel like you're gonna get lots of support in whatever this is, whether you are pregnant or whether somebody else is pregnant or whether it's just you need some emotional support, you are getting support here. And there is like a little thing here. The li There's a little like kind of curve. I don't know if you guys can see it like just there. It means greater than and less than. So this one is going that way. So this is meaning less than. So for you guys, it's showing me that you guys feel like you got, are getting less than what other people are getting. And you're thinking, well, everyone else is getting that. Why aren't I getting that? So move your focus away from what you aren't getting and focus on what you are getting because basically you are leaving the past behind and you have the number two here as well so I'm seeing like duality I'm seeing balance I'm seeing relationships and there's definitely an element of 
waiting for things to just kind of congregate together, move all the way through, and then boom, then you suddenly get it. So for you guys, for the others, for the two other groups, I feel like it was kind of things trickling in kind of lots of different times. This is kind of like waiting, 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 boom, okay? And also seeing a Pisces here, so you could be a Pisces, I'm picking up on Pisces really strongly. I'm also seeing somebody who may be feeling really sad, maybe a little bit depressed. I'm sorry if you guys are feeling like that. I really hope this, this message gives you hope because there is, there is change for you. I am hearing, look at what medication you're taking and I'm not a health practitioner. I am not any sort of, you know, this is general guidance. So please take it as it resonates. I'm not a doctor, okay? So please check with somebody. If you, okay, it's only if you get an intuitive feeling. If you, if, if, I, if you feel like, okay, that's clarification. You know, I feel like, I feel like that's already resonating for me then 100% do that okay 100% look into that if you feel like you already need to change some sort of medication or maybe take some more vitamins then really take that into account okay is there anything else that wants to come through I don't think so so you guys have a brother that's just what I'm picking up on you're not to be so scattered so meditation is going to really help you and serve you well all right let's get into your cards and let's zoom you out Alrighty, card time let me get rid of my all the tea <laughs> let's get rid of the tea all right so we have the first quarter we have mars we have aquarius and we have intellect so you are definitely shifting perspectives about something i feel like the world is changing around you and you are really getting new insight especially into like theories and stuff you're possibly looking into and just getting new knowledge about things you're definitely getting new knowledge about how you feel about the world and I'm just going to grab my little book to see what the first quarter represents here. So taking action, making moves and pushing through any obstacles that are revealed. So I love that. So for you guys, the obstacle could be Mars. It could be like sexual frustration, emotional frustration. It could be anger. So you're having to move through that emotional anger. And the Aquarius is showing me there's definitely some emotions being poured out so to, wait, to make way for new stuff. So you may feel like your cup is being emptied and you're being poured out. And you're getting like really tired and stressed. But actually, this is good because you guys are leaving new space. So you can learn something new and bring in new, new um, change and new, just new, what is the word? The word is like completely going out my brain. New knowledge, thank you. New knowledge. And you're firing up that, I'm hearing firing up the stove. So you guys might be getting like a new stove or have like a fireplace in your house. And you're like firing it up maybe because it's cold all of a sudden. Or it just may be like metaphorically you guys are, the heat is rising. So you might be getting really stressed out and you're thinking, why am I stressed out? But it's because things aren't moving. That's what I'm feeling. And because it's things aren't moving, because basically they're having to clump up so you, it can be released altogether. It's kind of like when you feel like you need to, you know, throw up. It's like, oh, do I need to yet? Do I need to yet? Oh, and now I do. You know, it's kind of like you can feel it brewing and you can get, you're getting like really stressed out about it. But it's okay. I feel like learning new things will really help with this. It will help you feel like you have choice and change, which you do. It's just taking a little longer than what you expected. And I feel like just generally, change is coming for a lot of you guys in different areas. So it could be love, it could be career, it could be... I feel like for this, it's more about emotional and insight. I feel like that's what the biggest change is for you guys. But obviously, if there's anything I mentioned previously, then that is what I'm picking up on as well. And the Aquarius is showing me you guys are changing, you're definitely changing your perspective on something. Somebody's also changing your perspective on something. And you're really seeing the fulfillment that's going to come out of this. So you're going to start to see little tidbits. And they're saying, look for a synchronicity. Okay, is there any synchronicity in here? I'm seeing like a bucket. So a bucket being poured, like water pouring out. A mouse. Oh, Tom and Jerry. I'm also seeing like a synchronicity of like um, seeing a cat looking at a moon. For some reason, that's just a synchronicity for you guys to look out for. And obviously a vulture, as I said. So any of the synchronicities around birds and things, I feel like are really big. And ladybirds, I'm picking up on. Just animals in, in general. If there's like a specific animal and you get like a really big kind of co uh, confirmation from that, I really, I'm really feeling that. Okay, so there's something else I want to say. Go out in nature as well. I feel like you guys are getting really um, anxious indoors. If you can get out in nature, that's going to really serve you. There's definitely somebody coming in. And for some of you guys, you already know who this is. It might be somebody you already work with. But for others of you, it could be like a friend or a romantic partner. Especially for those of you who want a romantic partner. I'm seeing you might already know somebody. Or somebody's going to come in with along with this big clump of change. Okay? So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm also seeing one little thing. There's like a little horse. And he's kind of running. It kind of reminds me of the chariot, which is like forward movement. So I do see that coming for you guys. So... 
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. And if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. And if you like this reading, let me know, please, down below. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. And thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.